page. The three amigos are back in this bitch. That's right. We're back with this edition of Five Questions with WR. So we answer your guys' questions. You guys send in, send in questions like crazy as usual. And guys, we were so close to 3,000 We're so close to 3,000. We're almost there. You got to get us there. Yes. Because there's going to be an epic, amazing, beautiful, beautiful, phenomenal, phenomenal giveaway coming your way. So you got to get us to 3,000 if you want that giveaway. That's right. No Come doubt. on, what? Oh, we're only asking 3,000. Ain't like we're asking a million. <laughs> like some people. Well, we're going to get a million. We'll do a, we'll do a giveaway. Yeah, good luck getting that million. Yeah, yeah, good, good luck. Good. That's the luck in your future endeavors. We're doing something that that's actually uh, um, uh, obtainable, right, yeah. guys. We're, we're we're so close. Uh, we're a few hundred away, guys. Look, Come on, we're a few hundred away. Come on, man. Look, it, we we've already proved that you know to our to our loyal, loyal subscribers here that that we are true. And I know you're laughing at me, but motherfucker, you try to say that with no big <laughs> Not laughing. Uh, you know, uh, we we give back. To, to the people you know that that, that has really supported us. Too. And That's also, right. You tell them, Pop. And, and, and also, we got there's going to be three winners. There's going to yeah. be not one, not two, but fucking three winners. And not only three. that, three. But all three winners are are actually going to get something different. They're not going to get the same different. thing. It's going to be one, two, three, and they're all three different. Yep. So, guys, guys, got to get. get uh, uh, you got to enter that giveaway. It's going to be in. fucking crazy. It is. Let's go ahead and go, go ahead and get started, guys. Ready. The first four questions are asked by Matthew Behrman. Matthew Behrman. His first question is, better Booker. Better Booker, huh? We got two options. Just two? Two. Okay. We have on this side, WWE with Triple H. Uh-huh. All and right. On, and on this side, Tommy. One of your favorites, and also the Wrestling Observer favorites, because he is the Wrestling Observer two-time Booker of the Year, according to the Wrestling Observer, Dave Meltzer, uh, Tony Khan, for AEW. Which well, ain't gonna fucking take long. <laughs> is that gonna fucking take long? Okay. Who's the better Booker, Tom? Triple H. Triple H. Why? He knows talent. Yeah, I wouldn't say that all. I, I, I will, he, he knows most talent. All right, all right, I'm going to tell you right now. Yeah, Because I'll knows. be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. Hit Row sucks. Well, I'm sorry. Hey, you got... Well, Tony Khan makes more misses I'm than sorry. Trips does. I'm sorry. Hit Row all right, sucks. All right, yeah, Hit Row sucks. But I'm going to tell you right now. Did you see Fat Ass Top Dollar eating the whole oh, pizza? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the whole thing. <laughs> the whole box. But I'm going to tell you right now. Who made more mistakes? Well, I agree with that. I'm, I'm just saying. Yeah, there's Triple, a few people. Triple H... There's some people that he signed that didn't that I didn't appreciate, like Hit Row. I thought they sucked. Yeah. And by the way, I agree with Levante, Damo, and Daniel when they said about Hit Row about fucking a uh, top dollar. Go find some more artifacts, motherfucker. You <laughs> fat fucker. <laughs> Fuck top dollar. He Fuck sucks. fucking top dollar. You bottom dollar. <laughs> That's what you are. You're Dirty fucking money. bottom. You're fucking no. Nah, he even dirty know. dollar. No, nah, he he's bottom dollar. Yeah, he's on the other he, side. He's scrounging up change. <laughs> he's on the other side of fifty cents. He's fucking bottom dollar. He ain't no top. He's bottom dollar. He's George Washington right now. <laughs> so I'm not going to say that that everybody's but, yeah, uh, is, is that but good. Triple but. H is more. He knows more about talent, mm -hmm. and knows more. About wrestling. Wrestling. Well, hold on. Tony Khan said that, said, said that he used to watch everything. ECW, WCW. Well, uh, well, I, you know I'm saying? well, I've watched wrestling for years, too. Does that make me a great booker? Are you going to be a good, be a good booker? I'll do better than Tony Khan. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on. Hold on now. The Wrestling Observer. Well, they Who voted, gives a fuck what voted Tony Khan <laughs> Booker of the yeah, Year? Did you see? Two times in a row. By the way, he's working on his third. Well, guess what? Of course you'll get it. Who you know gives why? A fuck he fucking about made... Dave Meltzer licking balls to Dr. Khan. Because that's what he does. Of course he's going to win the fucking three-time Booker of the Year award. You know why? Because Tony Khan is Meltzer's boy. Boy. And, and, and guess who's going to win an answer a year? Old fucking rubber face. No, here, here, here's the way I it fucking hate I'm, you. I'm you're the fucking, fucking worst. You're the fucking worst announcer I've ever seen in my life. 
I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be straight right here. Fucking Tony Khan. The Booker. only reason yeah. why Tony Khan was, was, was Booker of the Year three times or what? What twice? Almost three. Almost yeah. three. That probably will be three times if yeah. you leave to Meltzer. Yeah. The only reason why is because he's getting paid and he's licking Kong's big balls, probably little balls, little balls. Hey, he, come on. Uh, Really, he thought he thought he thought he licking his daddy's balls. For all I care. Like, I'm sorry. Like, Tony Khan. Does he get not... paid by the star? I, 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 no, no. I, 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 I think he gets paid by the lick. Come on, Tony Khan is not no good booker. He can't book his ass. Mm -hmm. He, he, he. All he's doing is is living out a fantasy of. Oh, I'm playing with real figures now. That's what the fuck he's doing. All he's doing. It's like a fucking Make a Wish kid. He is not. He, he, I'm making my dream come he, true. He is not booking what shit. The that's reason, what the, fuck the, he's doing. the reason why he's booking shit is because that's what, uh, because he's giving it all to the dwellers. Look, Triple H actually. Triple H. Here's the thing. Difference in fucking Triple H and WWE and Tony Khan. Who has bigger investors? It's Triple H. Oh yeah. Who has a bigger budget? It's Triple H. I will say this: uh, uh, trips. Cut fucking goddamn carry across his head, please. Yeah, make him bald again, yeah. please. Uh, and then uh, also uh, get rid of Hit Row. Yeah, get rid of Hit Row because they suck, pal. And also uh, get rid of Candice LeRae. She's a decent worker, but she ain't going to draw any fucking ratings. She ain't going to draw on the ratings. So, I like Candice LeRae, but you're right. Uh, well, well, I'm, she's I'm a decent honest. worker. I, I, I'm just being honest. Well, well, she's listen. a decent worker. Well, 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 listen, you know. There's other women here, that got fired. Here, 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 here's my opinion. I would have hired of, more of a than person her. that has a business. Me, I'm gonna drop the, the people that ain't making me shit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna drop the people that 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 that, that don't that don't deserve to get paid. But see, and, and let me tell you something, Shaka Khan. If I was if I was in your place, I'm pretty sure that I could book a fucking hell of a lot better than you because it, be, be, because I, I I wouldn't want, want to do what what the little drag wants me to do. I'm, I do what the fuck and, I want and, because number one, it's my fucking company, on, and I do what I fucking want. Come on, let's be honest. Tony Khan's listens to dirt sheet people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he don't let he don't listen to real wrestling fans. He only caters to the people that live in basements. Or, or fucking people that love stupid, retarded Shit. fucking wrestling. Look, or people that I'm fucking put their hands in their pockets. I don't like... Or fucking shit like this. That's what... Tony, listen. You have people there like Arn Anderson. You have people there like uh, Paul White. You have people there... Mark Henry. Uh, Jim Ross. You got... You got For God's sakes, I don't know why in the fuck they're there. But you got I, Jerry Lynn. Maybe they need the money. I don't know. You got Dean Malenko. You got Dean Malenko. You got Jerry Lynn. Learn from Mark these Henry. guys. Mark Henry. Why aren't you fucking taking notes from these guys? Tony Blanchard, like, why are you not listening to people like this? Why don't you come? Why are you listening you, to a guy you know that wrote dirt sheets yeah. for thirty fucking years and fucking did nothing in his fucking you, life you know but live in a dirty if fucking I, apartment? If I was a young kid, if I was a young kid, and I and and, and, and I wanted to get into the business. I, 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 I would want to be around the Orrin Anderson. I, 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 I'd want to be around these guys that knows how, how to make it and knows how to perform in the ring. Not, no. Not more bubbles popping down, you know. But no, you want to listen, like listen to the vodka swallower Chris Jericho. All he knows how to do is book stupid shit. And you sign that fucking fat bastard for another five years? Best of luck. I don't think you'll be around in five years. I think it's three. Three, five, four, ten? So who's the better booker? Oh, Triple H, hands down. Triple H. I'm going to go with Triple H as well. If I had to put my hands, you know, my, 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 my future in somebody's hands, it's going to be Triple H. Especially over TK. Yeah. Next question. What would happen oh. if Tony Khan... Oh, oh my God. You another fucking Tony Khan question? Oh, God, Lord. What would happen if Tony Khan hired... The GTS morons, the Grim Toy Show morons, to AEW. They'll fit right in with that fucking company. They would. Just imagine the goddamn conversation. They, 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 they wouldn't. Now, Tony Khan, thank you, oh, Grim. He's gonna stop. Oh, oh, like stop. A goof. oh, yeah. They wouldn't be no conversation. Bring in the what? machine. They'd all be, 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 be bringing out, out, out their figures and admire them. 
Well, well, no, uh, yeah, fuck, and, and, and you know who Tony Khan should sign? Hmm. Fuck people that stiff grim. That's the people that should have been signed. Tommy, the stiffing that oh, it was worse grim. than mass transit it's, incident. It's the worst. Yeah, yeah, what it's a worst fucking grim. what a fucking fat baloney fuck he said. Tommy, should Tony Khan sign this fat fucking RVD tights? Yes. Sign that, this fucking fat I mean. fuck in RVD shit stain tights. <laughs> fuck you. Sign his fucking doofus brother. Sign his fucking Dan Housen look-alike girlfriend. Hey, she could be Dan Housen's stunt double. After, before, way before. <laughs> before way. Yeah, uh, let me tell you and, something. And invite, a, invite his freak show to your freak show. And, and bring all of his other jobbers with him. And fucking they could have a real powwow on AEW Dark. <laughs> it's going to be on Dark. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, no one watches. Um, no, uh, I mean, come on. I mean, they fit right in. They're, they fit right in. They're goofs. They're yeah. goofs. The, uh, the people that watch Grimm are fucking basement dwellers. Yeah, so yeah. it fits right in. So, so. They, they, and, they, they and, fit right in. And, and, now, and now, instead of him working in AEW, you don't have to get paid $2. Now yeah. he's going to get $5. going to get $5. I don't want, I don't want $2. It's going to be $5. I'm going to buy you. Fuck Grimm. Yeah, fuck Grimm. You don't... And by the way, he's a fucking idiot. Mm -hmm. You know. Come on, who makes an OnlyFans look like Tommy Dreamer with fucking Brian Myers hair? Uh, you know. <laughs> way overweight. <laughs> you, you know. See that uh, fucking and, idiot. And, and and you know, he he he'd be he'd be you know uh, he'd he'd be uh, doing shit for his own people, the the dwellers. And see, well, see, the difference between Logan Paul working with the with the WWE is. Logan Paul does have a big fan base, and it is bringing people towards WWE. Yeah. If you bring in Grimm, you're just you're just pay, get the same basement dwellers to watch yeah. the yeah. fucking show every fucking week. Yeah, so you might as well do it. <laughs> what, Sign him. What? What? Three, four, maybe five? Who knows? Or or, 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 or it could be just one lonely fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, so yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Sign him. I don't care. Uh, let's go ahead and go with the next question. Now, this question... Well, my, another fucking Tony Khan. No, 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 no Tony Khan question. Wait, 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 no, Tony Khan. No, no, Tony Khan question. This is who's hotter question. Oh, okay. We got two options. All right, I'll, I can do this one. Okay. We got who's hotter, in your opinion. All right. Now, we may get some flack. Oh, uh, we're going to get some... We're going to get some slack here. Flack. Flack, slack, whatever we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to get some flack. From the board leaders wrestle podcast. Oh, they're gonna get mad. <laughs> they're gonna get mad. <laughs> you know they won't get mad. Uh, <laughs> of course not. There are boys. There are boys. There are old buddies. <laughs> Daniel Davo uh, and Levante uh, Smith. Yeah, they're all old buddies. And, and I gotta say, they do great work over there. Yeah, they do. Oh lord, they, they do great work. They make me laugh every fucking time. <laughs> it's a funny. Especially they're funny Daniel people. saying his boys SD Jones. That made me laugh. <laughs> they're funny. They're funny. They're funny. Damn, man. Daniel's a big S.D. Jones fan. <laughs> and Norman Smiley. Oh, Norman Smiley. Norman, wiggle, baby. Norman Smiley does the wiggle. <laughs> uh, but, uh, Tommy, it, it, it's their girl. The uh, baddie her, herself, Jade Cargill. Jade Cargill. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not here, a big ass Hogan. Huh, she does got a big she ass. She does have a big She's ass. fucking hot. She's my baddie. <laughs> nah, it's Jade Cargill. Okay. <laughs> Or of Alexa Bliss. <laughs> Sorry, Born Leaders Breast Podcast. I'm gonna give you a heads up right now, it's Alexa Bliss. <laughs> Pops, which one's higher in your opinion? Uh, okay, Jay uh, Cargill or Alexa Bliss? Okay, I'm gonna do my usual thing and then and, and then I got I gotta be I gotta be, you know, honest and everything. But but I'm being honest about this right too. You know, I take a bow, stack my back cord wood, and just have my way. Lord, that's a beautiful dream. But anyway. I'm sorry, man. I, I love you guys. I love you guys. I gotta go with Lexa Bliss. Um, Jade, no, don't get me wrong, she looks okay. It's just, uh, man, she's just too muscly for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Uh, like, uh, like she, like, you too see, muscly. Yeah, just like, I mean, it, you know, some people like that kind of thing. I, not me. Yeah, not me either. Um, now Alexa Bliss, you know she's she's pretty toned and everything, but I mean, you know I'm not seeing every rib and bicep yeah. and everything else on her, so I mean uh, I'm gonna go with Alexa Bliss. 
But uh, you know, I I I, I got to give give her credit though. Man. Yeah. She, she she toned up her body so she's ready. You know? Yeah. Toned if up you would have said Kiara Hogan, then there would be a challenge. <laughs> or yeah. Red Velvet. Yeah, Red Velvet. Or, or Red yeah. Velvet, yeah. But, uh... Not the other bitch. <laughs> Who is that, by the way? I don't fucking know. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, they don't even like her. Sorry, Born Leaders Wrestling Sorry, Podcast. Sorry, Born Leaders Wrestling Podcast. Jade is wrong again. <laughs> <laughs> but, guys, you can go check out the Born Leaders Wrestling Podcast in the description box below. They'll, you'll see the name. You'll see their link. Hit their link. Go over, go over their channel. We watch it all the time, guys. Yeah, they do great work. So, uh, let's go into Beautiful with, work. Let's go with uh, Matthew Behrman's last Matthew question. Matthew Behrman. Then we got a question after that. But uh, his last uh, question right. is, best find during thrifting on the channel? Best, best find thing. during, best find from thrifting, huh? Now, we will limit this because we do go almost Yeah, almost we everywhere. almost go everywhere. I'll, I'll give you, uh, uh. Well, hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do, um. Says this thrifting, we're only gonna do uh, thrift shops and like antique stores yeah. for thrifting. Uh, you know, we're not gonna count game stores or yard sales. Yeah. We're only gonna do uh, uh, like you know antique. Like a Goodwill yeah. Yeah. or Peddler's Mall, Mall or, or a pawn shop. Uh, I don't really found that much. Good. Me neither, buddy. It well, can't count. Um, I, I mean, besides besides maybe a bunch of those GameCube games that I got for yeah. like four dollars before, which well, that that's was like me. That one was a good. That was one. like that was me good when, deal. I, when I got that fucking Suburban Commando DVD. I didn't know it was that fucking much. Yeah, it was like fifteen bucks or whatever. Yeah, I only paid a dollar for it. Uh, which which I found like a what I found like WarioWare Inc. Just like a forty or fifty dollar game. I found uh 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 what was it uh, Mario uh, Golf for like. I, 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 I got all the games for four dollars and like each of them were like anywhere from fifteen to twenty five dollars each so I mean getting them for four dollars was a steal then yeah but uh, uh what about like goodwill and like uh, uh no goodwill I found a PlayStation 4 controller there at Goodwill. Mm -hmm. For $1.99? $1.99. You know, and I'm like, I, I, you know, I, I picked it up and I, I seen the slice of it. And I, I didn't break it. It's right in there. Uh, 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 asshole. Uh, <laughs> have you broken controllers? I have broken controllers. Yes, Tell I the have. Truth. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Well, I've broken you? controllers because... Let, let me, let, you know, I'm just going to tell you Why something. do you think I have extra controllers on hand? Let, let, let me just say this now. Now, you're playing you football. I love to play football night. and everything like that right here. But let me, let's be honest. Let, let's be real about this right here, Seth. If you throw a pass and it's got knocked up and that guy come across the field, come, 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 come across the field now to catch that ball while it's still in the air, come on, let's have a little realism here. If, you, if you've got to play football, I, I like to have a little realism doing it. That is not realism. That's bullshit, and that's why I broke the controller, because it was bullshit. And if anybody's had that happen to it, you understand what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know, you break the game, it's only worth like three or four bucks. Uh, you know? no, hell yeah, I didn't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't give a shit. Yeah, give a shit. Uh, but anyway, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it, and it's true. Yeah, yeah that's one of Pasta's fa uh, favorite finds that he got yeah. at yeah. Goodwill. Uh, Tommy? I have three. And Good. I still have the controller. Well, I have three. I'll go ahead and do one. It's one that we've done recently. Okay. Uh, Fight Night Champion. Uh huh. I got for six dollars. About a twenty twenty five dollar game. Yeah, and, that, and that's a and that's a rare game to find. Harder, harder, uh, fight harder night harder boxing find. game to find. That's a harder fight night to find. Uh, then I'm gonna throw the Godfather game that I got at uh, Goodwill. Mm -hmm. Cause that was a hell of a hell of a find. Uh, Paid ninety nine cents for it. It it's the it's the Don, uh, Don, the, Don the Don's edition. Yeah, of and Godfather. I only paid ninety nine cents for that. Uh, for the PS3, the damn the game's worth like forty or fifty bucks. It only paid ninety nine cents. Mm -hmm. And then another Goodwill, the Eva Destruction DVD for WWF. For WWF for ninety nine cents. Yes. Those are my three favorite thrift uh, finds. Um, I'm gonna go with my favorite uh, thrift finds. Like, I mean, I'll be honest with you here. Uh, in the past, like year. Maybe a year and a half. It's been downhill uh, uh, yeah. for, for thrift stores. Uh, we don't find games that much anymore. And if we do, they're either scratch the smithereens, you can't save any of them. 
um, they're in the wrong cases, or they're just extremely high. Like uh, good, at Goodwill, like uh, Goodwill at uh, Radcliffe, or well, place that we go to every once in a while. Uh, their games now are fucking five dollars. Five dollars, and they used to even be, for a comic. Yeah, I found Sega Saturn games at that Goodwill, and I got them for either it was like two or three dollars, and. Those are those are hard to find. Sega Saturn games are extremely hard to find. I found those at that Goodwill, the same Goodwill that are charging five dollars yes. per yeah. game now. Yes. Um, I'm surprised I got that fucking Tiger Woods for ninety nine cents. Yeah, Tommy did find a Tiger, <laughs> Tiger, Tiger Woods. Woods game for for ninety nine cents. That's the only reason I got it. Yeah, it was only a dollar. Um, but uh, I I found Sega Saturn games there before. Um, uh, was it Sonic? I sold them, by the way, yeah. and I got a pretty good profit off of them. Uh, I, actually, I think they were $2 a piece when I bought them. And I ended up selling that. I, I sold two of them? Or was it three of them? It was two or three of them. I sold them for like 100 bucks. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I did. I know. And, 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 you, and you had sports games, Sega Saturn. Yeah. Uh, I found some Sega Saturn uh, sports games that I got for like really cheap, and I sold them bastards, too. I, got, I think I would pay like five dollars a piece for them. I sold them for like thirty, so I doubled my, my money on those. But the ones I got from Goodwill were even better because I, yeah. I, I I literally paid like six dollars for them and I got like a hundred dollars out of them. So, but, but you know, you, you know, uh, now for us, you know, uh, winter's coming on, and, 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 and you know, we, we 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 most usually, you know, when you know yard sales and stuff like that. But now, yeah, now, yard sale, yard sales, it's just slacking down, off. Yeah. yeah, winter's coming on. Now uh, probably the only place we'll go is Peddler's Mall, and we don't go. Yeah. We'll yeah, we, we, go there. We, we, I mean, I mean, we may pop into a Goodwill, yeah. but honestly, you know, we may we'll pop into go Goodwill here in one of these days. Again. It's it's uh, just you know if we do we do we're out. if we don't we don't. And I, and I I found a fucking R zone yep. and, and it works. Uh, it came with a Batman game. Yeah, yeah, it came with a Batman game. The, uh, like those games are pretty expensive when you try to fucking buy them online. Those yeah. fucking yeah. games are expensive as hell. I mean, the R zone by itself is like fifty bucks, but. If you end up trying to find the games for them, the games are even more expensive. Uh, I found Half Life on the PS2. That's like a forty or fifty dollar game. I found that at a Goodwill for like two or three bucks. I found a bunch of PlayStation games. I found Bushido Blade, which is like a thirty five dollar game. I got it for like two or three bucks. Um, you, the, uh, the I mean, seriously, yeah. we, we, uh, well, I, I, I found I found fucking God God's amount of fucking Wii Sports and. And uh, uh, Wii Sports Resort and Mario Karts at, at Goodwill before. So, I mean, I found a bunch of stuff at Goodwill before. Yeah. Uh, but it's just, here recently, it's been very dry. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm pretty sure the streak's over now. Because <laughs> we haven't found shit yeah. before. Yeah. I used to find shit all the time we went. All the time. Hell, and, I don't even find good DVDs. Yep. So, uh, not, not much anymore, guys. Not much anymore, unfortunately. Which is, uh, that's uh, why... That, that's why the the Goodwill video game hunting isn't isn't uh, isn't out anymore uh, for a while uh, for a while because we just don't, we haven't found shit. So uh, we go we, we go there and and we look around and we we, we only stay in the place for about ten minutes because because we know where to go and and what to look at and we just leave. No doubt. Let's go ahead and go with the last question. Last question is asked by Jose Cruz. Jose Cruz. Thoughts on Luigi Primo. The Pizza Chef Wrestler. Mm. Now, this was a few weeks ago. If you guys remember, uh, well, Pops didn't remember, uh, but me and Tom, I, 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 don't, I don't, he saw it. I, 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 there was a viral video, as they say, viral these days. Yeah, a viral video of this. You want to call it that? Of this goof who is dressed as a pizza maker. And he's getting uh, put in like a a fuck some kind of submission, and the motherfucker is spinning dough while he's getting uh, hooked in a submission. It sounds like one of Chuck Connors' deal. Well, he does go there. Yeah, he signed him. Um, well, brought him same thing. And this went viral, right? And Tony Khan saw this. Yes, and Tony Khan saw. And this Tony Khan saw good. this. Like, do you know? Do you know what pizzeria he works at? Yeah, he works at Domino. Oh wait, a minute, can't get Domino. No, I'm can't. sorry. He works at Little Caesars, home well. of the worst pizza in the town. <laughs> uh, 
see? Yeah, do you have a listen. Waluigi there? Listen, listen, see? Do you have Waluigi there? Now, this right here is a very motherfucking thing. Hey. This, this is a Luigi. very motherfucking you got Waluigi thing there? that I cannot take hey. this motherfucker seriously. This right here is stupid shit. And That's why I can't take that motherfucker it, seriously. It's all because, of, hey, hey, you want to take time out of your little Caesars uh, 9 to 5 job? And uh, want to come to AEW where you get a big boot to the face? Yeah, he cuts a yeah, promo. Yeah, make sure, make sure you ask little Caesar you can borrow some no, because we ain't got any. You're going to have to bring your own props. You know, what Did the old bucks kick him in the face? No. no it was some guy named Brian Cage, I think it was. No, no it was, uh, it was uh, Ethan Page. I oh, fuck him, dude. <laughs> any, any last name Page sucks. Page, Cage, Except for Dallas. Page. page, Cage, same thing. Cage, Page, uh, Rage. <laughs> what the same about the name. Uh, the only page it was any good was fucking Diamond Dallas Page. But uh, Tony Khan brought this guy and in. And that's Soraya. Soraya. <laughs> Soraya. 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 Uh, fucking whore is what her name is. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. fucking dick. <laughs> anyway. Can you? No. <laughs> ask, ask Brad Maddox. <laughs> ask, ask Mr. G for himself. Xavier <laughs> Buggler Woods. Yeah, Buggler Woods. He didn't Buggler all <laughs> <laughs> you got a buckle on that. That's Del Rio. He didn't buckle either. He didn't do the Mexican hat dance with it. Olé! Olé! But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Luigi Primo is cutting a promo... Yeah, he's cutting with a promo... Shitty, with shitty Mar Marvez. Yeah, Marvez. And he's doing the pizza dough. Making the pizza. And here comes this boot out of nowhere. big boot. The only one that could do a big boot good was Test. And this ain't test. <laughs> this ain't test. If this was test, we would have had some money. Test. And then, uh, and then that was about it for old fucking Luigi here. And then they brought him back like and a few weeks later. And then they brought the fucking idiot back. And he made, and he's doing the dough again, the usual. You know, he got it from Little Caesars. You know, right across the street, right across the corner from Daly's place. And, and fucking, and he's twirling the dough. And what are you doing with Jericho now? Jericho and the Jericho Appreciation Oh, Society. you know Jericho eats a lot of people. They had they, they had a shitty table like we got right oh, here. Oh yeah. And but they theirs had... ain't broken on the end. <laughs> hold my tape. Like ours are. Fuck you. It probably was. <laughs> We're a bunch of low budgets. Yeah. Anyway. Uh uh He he had pizza sitting there. Oh yeah. And he's sitting there spinning the fucking dough like uh -huh. And, and Jericho goes, Can I have every fucking slice I can suck? <laughs> Big boy gotta eat. Hey, one more vodka? <sighs> I know you didn't get enough seltzer in there. <laughs> yeah. How the meatballs do you? <laughs> How do the meatballs do you? How do the meatballs? And why the fuck you put wa cold water in goddamn fucking spaghetti? Chris Jericho's a fucking goof. <laughs> Is he a fucking goof? He's a goof. And people say, how dare you call him a goof? He's one of the best wrestlers in the world. Where? Because I don't see it now. All I see is a fucking bloated ass has been. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have no respect for this Motherfucker don't, don't, don't know how to cook, motherfucker, don't cook. Motherfucker, fuck you and your spaghetti. So, I bet you that hurt the gut. Also, speaking of, well, Luigi Primo with his viral video. Yeah, his fucking viral did video. Did you guys also see the other viral video that's going on? Oh, what's the other fucking viral video? This guy gets pinned by a dog. Oh, did you guys oh, oh god damn it. Hey, 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 Con, you gonna get that? You gotta get the dog in? Yeah, he can be the next one. Oh, yeah, we're gonna get the dog in. Yeah, we're gonna bring the dog in. Let's bring in my dog. You motherfucker, you motherfuckers, damn basement motherfucking dwellers, and some of you ignorant motherfuckers that ain't don't live in basements. Hey, I just thought it was an idea. Watch this goddamn dumb fucking shit. Literally, it was at some kind of flea market or whatever. Or it looks like it. And the guy. stable here. The guy is some generic looking fucking wrestler, right? And there was a dog in the ring. And there's a handler with the dog. Yeah. Literally, the, the handler went like this for the dog to jump and knocks the wrestler down. Yeah. And literally, the dog go, puts his fucking paws on the fucking wrestler and wins the fucking match. Hey, are you guys... Hey, I, I got a great movie idea. Is he going to be... Is Tony Connor going to bring him in too? Yeah. Hey. Hey, yeah. I got a great movie idea. We got the next Air Bud. The wrestler. Yeah. Now, Air Bud went wrestling. The wrestler Bud. 
<laughs> ring bud. Yeah, ring bud. Yeah, the, now he's ring bud. He's ring bud. Ring bud the wrestler. All we need is a leotard. Get right in there. You see, you see, see that's why. You see, I, ha I hate people. I hate I, Yeah, oh, I hate God. shit like this. And fucking, you got this motherfucker twirling fucking pizzas. Like, like if you want to do a pizza, motherfucker, go work a nine to five job at a little Caesars or a fucking pizza hut. We well, can't work at Domino's because you went to AEW. You motherfuckers ask. Pizza uh, Hut. I mean, me, me, me I, I, I'm going to tell you personally, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to tell you right now. You fucking horrible, you, hungry Howie. You motherfuckers, get on, get on our asses, call us names and shit like that right there. J just because we tell the truth. We tell the fucking truth. And okay. this motherfucker, this motherfucker, I have no respect for somebody like, like that right there. I, I, I really don't. That motherfucker is not serious about running any kind of a company. Fucking signing fucking a fucking pizza guy. What are you, what is he going, is that Jim Hurd's kid? He must That'd be. be Jim Hurd's kid. Yeah, fuck. Huh? I'm just like my grandpa. <laughs> grandpa. Grandpa Hurd. <laughs> I know how to flip the pizza. He taught me how to flip pizza. Do you think Tony Khan's going to bring the dog guy in? Oh, he might as well. Oh, oh, he, 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 bring he, that fucking pizza man. <laughs> He, he, he might as well bring hey, the dog guy Nick, in. I I wonder, uh, when uh, when old Luigi here fucking made the pizza, I wonder if Nick Gage supplied the cutter. Uh, he probably did. I got the cutter. And you motherfuckers are all it's got all it all the things it's and everything. It will work because uh, because how hey. can you take this motherfucker seriously? Yeah, how can you sign, do it? He's gonna sign the wrestling dog. He's gonna sign fucking pizza man here. Okay, you what? Cujo the wrestling yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah, Cujo. You motherfuckers can, can call us anything you want to, but we tell the fucking truth here. This is why wrestling is in the and, shape and it's and in. Wrestling's in the shitter. And how in the hell? I like to know how in the hell. Even you goddamn basement girls got to have a little bit of sense. Although I doubt. Call it out. How fucking stupid this is. How fucking stupid is that? This motherfucker did not know how to run a wrestling company. And this motherfucker is insane. Okay? But we hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. <laughs> get the cream to put around their fucking face. Like us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash wrestling rampage 2. Show them that too. You can also add the <laughs> basement dwellers. How many of pops on Facebook if you're not a basement dweller? As well. As well. You're a basement dweller, I'll tell you exactly what to do and where to go. As well, you can also like us, uh, sorry, follow us on Twitter at Wrestle Rampage. You can also follow me uh, on, on IG Instagram. And guys, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to you guys because we're that cream that rises to the top. Cream of the crop. And nobody does it better.